Hey guys, so today we're going to be changing out spark plugs in a Mitsubishi Mivec motor. In order to do this job, it's pretty simple. All you're going to need is a regular socket wrench, and then over here you can use another wrench, which is actually designed for spark plugs, and then some anti-seize grease. So the special thing about a spark plug removal socket is, it looks like any other regular deep socket, except it's got a rubber boot inside, which will actually grab onto the plug. So this motor uses a coil on plug design, so you do not have spark plug wires to change out. All you have to do is unbolt this and pop the coil out to get out the spark plug. So after you've gone ahead and removed your 10mm bolt and unplugged the coil, you can go ahead and lift it right out. And once you broke it all loose, you can take the plug out. And as you can see, the socket holds the plug in. So today we're going to be putting in a set of NGK Iridium spark plugs. The nice thing about these are they're already pre gaffed from factory. And when they come shipped, they come with this little protective cardboard shield to make sure that your gap doesn't change during shipping, if they were to drop it or anything. So after you get your old plug out, just go ahead and compare it. Make sure that they're not fouling or anything. This one actually looks pretty good. We recommend changing these every 100,000 kilometers. So before you put your new spark plugs in, we're dealing with a vehicle with an aluminum cylinder head and you don't want it to season there. So it's a good idea to put a little bit of anti-seize grease on there. You want to put it on the lower portion over here. That way these threads are bare and it's still going to make a good ground. Because remember, your spark plugs actually ground through the cylinder head. So I do it here on this spot and another one over here. When you actually thread it through, it's going to spread it all around. For so you. whether you're dealing with aluminum or cast iron cylinder heads, it's always a good idea to hand thread in the, the spark plug in first to make sure you're not cross threading it. So as long as the thread's nice and easy, you know it's going in properly. Once you know that the spark plug's nice and snug, go ahead and give it a quarter turn just to make sure it's in there properly. Do not over tighten it. Once you got all your plugs in snug, just go ahead and reverse the order and plug the coils back in and put your 10 mil bolts in. So once you've made sure that everything's connected and secure, go ahead and test the motor and take it for a test drive.